Hello everybody. Hola Milita. Look. Today we're gonna read Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. There you go. Right, Broom on the Broom. The witch had a cat, a very tall hat, and a long ginger hair, which she wore as a plaid. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned, as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch well and how the cat spat, when the wind blew so widely, it blew off the hat. Look at this. Down cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down her head, I'm a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on a broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch. And the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wailed his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Oh. Down, cried the witch, and they flew through the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ear-splitting trick, there flapped a green bear with the bow on her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her hair low, then said as the witch that her plaid in a bow, I'm a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bear floated on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bear shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch. And they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then, all of the sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a crock, as the witch dried the wand on a fold on her cloak. I'm a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. They frog jumped for joy and... The broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down went tumbling into a bog. The witch half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was a scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. <laughs> no, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch. Flying down the ground, she looked all around, but no help could be found. Okay, we need to go to sleep soon. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips said, Maybe these ones I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, sticky, and feathered. 
and fur. He had four frightful heads. He had wings like a bird, and his terrible voice, when he started to speak, was a yowl and a growl, and a croak and a trick. He dripped and squelched and strove from the ditch. And he said to the dragon, Boss off! That's my witch! Uh oh. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bear and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'll be in the dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. And they threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was staring, she muttered a spell. Igeti. No? Igeti, sigeti, sageti, zoom. Then arose a truly magnificent broom, with seats for the witch and the cats and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all crumbled on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh! They were gone. They're all in the broom now, Mila. Oh, they're flying to the sky. The end. Okay, good night. If you like this video, press thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell. Bye bye.